Over the years, Florida has become a mecca for retirees. I mean, we've seen amazing growth in active adult communities across the entire state. And they are still going up, especially around the Tampa Bay area. One of the latest is Del Webb Project Bayview down in Parrish. Let's go take a look. Over the last couple of years, it seems the number of people who contact us about moving to Florida, buying a home in a 55 plus neighborhood, and ducking out of life has grown exponentially. And we feel more calls from people in Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Montreal, about buying a home than we hear from people locally. And really, I mean, why is that? Maybe it's the weather. As I record this, it's mid-January. Yeah, I did have to put on a sweater this morning, as it was only 48 degrees outside. But early tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be at the first tee box over the club playing golf in shorts. Maybe it's the miles of beaches, at the white sandy beaches of the Gulf Coast. There's everything from tourist traps around Clearwater to the pristine beaches on Anna Maria Island. There's always outdoor activities like hiking, biking, paddleboarding, kayaking, and all in several state national parks. People moving to these neighborhoods are a lot different than they did what they were you know, 10 years ago. Most are in their mid to upper 50s, which really gotta be 55 anyhow. They want things to do, places to go. I mean, these people are not sitting on the porch waiting for, you know, whatever. And the Bay Area offers a bunch of things to do and places to go. Let's talk about Parish and Bayview. Bayview by Del Webb is, is in the city of Parish and is a prime example of a great location for those places to go and things to do. Located in North Manatee County, about 30 minutes south of Tampa and 30 minutes north of Sarasota, it's about the same distance as St. Pete. So you're gonna get the best of all three cities. Obviously, there are the beaches. I mean, some of the best in the world. Getting to things like the musicals in Tampa at the Stras Center for the Performing Arts, or down in Sarasota at the Sarasota Opera. It's relatively easy. The pier in St. Petersburg is an amazing place to go for dinner and brunch on Sunday, or just to go hang out. Museums are all over the place, from Zoo Tampa to the Dolly Museum, and of course, Circus Sarasota. I mean, Sarasota is the circus capital of the world. Then there are the professional sports. Football, hockey, soccer are all in Tampa. Baseball is in St. Pete, and if you really want to, the Magic play in Orlando. And if you really gotta, there's Disney World, SeaWorld, Universal Studios, and all those amusement parks over there in Orlando that you're ever gonna, probably, ever gonna wanna visit, probably in your life. One of the facts about Orlando, the only white castle in the state is in Orlando, and it just so happens to be the largest in the world at 4,200 square feet. Impressive, right? Parish itself has been a very sleepy area for years. Very family-oriented, relaxed, very rural. But that rural part is changing rapidly. People are moving into the parish area for several reasons. Yet yeah, location is great. The surrounding area has a lot of things to offer, but land prices around Parish are still low when compared to other parts of the Bay Area. Land price is a major factor in the final price of a home. That has prompted several developers to start buying large tracts of land. Homes being built around Parish are of a much better value than most of the other areas of the Bay. Builders like Miranda Homes, Meritage, MI Homes, and Centex are building master plan communities all around Parish, as is Pulte. Pulte's 55 plus division, the Webb, started at Bayview, I don't know, 16, 20 months ago, and have been selling homes there as fast as they can put them up. Phase one is pretty much sold out. Right now, they are currently working, uh, they're currently in the process of building the clubhouse and amenity center. It's gonna be called the Driftwood. Someday, and the current estimate is the fall of 2022, this is gonna become this. The Driftwood is going to be a beautifully appointed clubhouse for the residents to use.
Coffee in the Breakwater Cafe. Meeting with friends at the Admiral Cove Lounge. Working out in the fully furnished fitness studio. The on-site program director is going to keep the area the nation the neighborhood busy with social activities. And then there's the restore style pool area and play areas. The play areas are going to be uh, tennis, bocce ball, te um, uh, shuffleboard, all the games you want to play. The plan is to have 900 or so homes, both villas and single family. Those homes are going to be split into four collections. The villa collection will include two floor plans, the Kendrick and the Ellenwood. Both are in the low to mid 1500 square foot range. The Kendrick is a two bedroom, two bath home starting in the low 300s. The Ellenwood is slightly larger and has a third bedroom option. Both of them are going to have a very wide open feeling. And by the way, the outside of your villa, the landscaping, painting, mowing, taken care of by the HOA. The scenic collection is the smallest of the homes in the community starting in the mid 300s with a two bed, two bath contour. The other three floor plans available are the Compass, the Hallmark, and the Compass Grand. The Compass Grand has almost 2,000 square feet of open space, a flex room, up to four bedrooms, and three baths. It also has a very spacious second story loft that's going to be pretty cool for a TV room. Prices for the Compass Grand start at $416,000. Other floor plans in this collection are going to include the Mystique at 1,900 square feet, the Mainstay at 1,950 square feet, the Prestige with just over 2,000 square feet, the Mainstay Grand and the Mystique Grand both of those are in the 2,500 to 28 square foot homes with four bedrooms, three and four baths and starting near the $510,000 mark. The Echelon Collection will have the largest homes in the community, starting with the Stardom at about 2,300 square feet. There's a maximum of three bedrooms, three and a half baths and an optional three car garage available. The largest in the collection and in the neighborhood is going to be the Stellar Grand, with about 3,300 square feet four bedrooms and an optional fifth bathroom and a third car garage bay. Sorry, my idea of downsizing and retiring does not include a four bedroom, five bath home. Just thinking. Let's go take a look at the stardom. All the floor plans in the Echelon collection have an optional third car bay and multiple designs for the front exposure. This particular model is the FM2. No, I don't know what the acronym means. Let's head inside. As you enter, you're going to find an office or a den. The FM2 has a really nice bay window, making for a great view from your desk. I also like the ceilings in the room. Several of the rooms in this house have this style. I really like it. Keep in mind, this is a model. There are optional upgrades almost everywhere. Optional upgrades mean money. I have a video about using a design center. I will try to point out these options as we go, so you can kind of figure out what you like and not like. The Stardom has a large galley kitchen with an island large enough for four chairs. I like the quartz countertops and tile backsplash, the 42 inch cabinets with crown molding. By the way, this is an upgraded kitchen package. Spending money in the kitchen is usually a good thing. The main area of the room is really nice. It's wide open, feels really good walking in. A great view out to the backyard through the pocket sliders. And these sliders, by the way, work out very nicely to open up the house for entertaining or just opening up the house to the backyard. The raised ceilings are standard, but the really good looking beams, those are upgrades.
off to the master ensuite. Now, I like that word, it sounds impressive, ensuite. And this ensuite is impressive. Plenty of room, raised ceilings. Those beams are, again, an upgrade. The bathroom features a large walk-in closet. Uh, this is an upgraded bathroom, but it's worth the additional cost. Remember, kitchens, master bedrooms, and bathrooms are normally the best places to add money and do upgrades. Let's go on to the second bedroom. Plenty of light, it's a good sized space, and in this model, the second bedroom has its own bath. Very nice finishing touches on this. Also on this model is a very nice pool. It's definitely an option, but it does give you an idea of what living in Florida looks like. So how do you go about buying at Bayview? Well, first contact us. We need to get you on their interest list. And yes, there is a list. Once a month, a few lots are released to those people on that interest list. You're gonna have the opportunity to make an offer or pass on any of the lots released. Assuming your offer is accepted, you are 12 to 14 months from moving in. Now, the salesperson out there is gonna tell you something like eight to 10 months, and they're a little bit overly optimistic. It's closer to a year. If you'd like a closer look at the homes or more information, feel free to reach out to us at 813-864-6370. You can also send me a message in the, in, the, in the comment section down below. Right now, there are something like 270 homes in the 55 plus communities listed for sale from basically Brooksville to Sarasota. The link down below is gonna help get you a complete list. If you'd like more information now about moving in Tampa, living in Tampa, buying a home in Tampa, watch this video. If you have any questions, feel free to get out and reach out to us. We love to talk about Tampa. We love to talk about real estate. If you haven't already done it, would you please go ahead and subscribe to the subscribe to our channel? It really does help us out on our SEO and liking this video would be kind of nice too. Thanks for watching. Go out and make a great day.